What is going on you guys, Demonic Ducky here. Welcome to episode 8 of the New York Rangers GM mode. We are going to start regular season here, but first we're going to go ahead and get a trade. We're going to trade either Dan Girardi or Jeff Petrie on the third defensive line, and we're also going to trade Dominic Moore due to we need, instead of having a bunch of centers, we need a right wing. So we'll go ahead and throw Jeff Petrie. I know I just picked him up for free agency, but we have some players in the AHL that are ready to move up. So we'll go ahead and try to find a good right winger that we can trade him for. Let's go to, right off the back, we're going to check. Let's check Florida to see if they have any young right wings that probably already progressed. Right wingers. They don't have any... We could get Jimmy Hayes and reunite the, and reunite the Hayes brothers, even though they've never been on the same team together. We could bring them both together, but then I'd put Jimmy Hayes on the third line. We don't really want to. We don't really want to waste a good trade on a third liner. I'm thinking we bring Marion Gavrick back to. Let's do that. We'll bring Marion Gavrick back to New York. We'll give them Ch -ch -ch Dominic Moore, who is a center. Who they're interested in. That's good. It is league approved. That's good so far. And we were also, we might, we see whose trade value is higher. Obviously, J Dan Girardi. No, J yeah, Dan Girardi is, is higher. He's only one overall higher, and he's a little bit older. So we'll go ahead and give them Dan Girardi. They'd be over maximum salary cap, so we might have to keep a little bit of cap on Dan Girardi. For we'll keep some cap on Dominic Moore. He doesn't have that much longer of a contract. We'll retain half of his and. Then we'll go ahead and, because he only has a year left in contract. So we'll retain half of his, and then we'll retain just a little bit of Dan Girardi's, which will put LA a little bit over, a little bit under maximum salary cap, sorry. That should be good. They're still over maximum salary cap. How's it disapproved? Would be over league maximum, okay. Instead of retaining salary, we'll just grab someone else from them that they're willing to give up. We could use some depth on offense. So, let's see if we can grab a someone else who they'll be willing to give away. Let's see if they're giving away anyone. They are giving away quite a few people. No one really that would fit our needs. Any left wingers possibly? Actually, we seem to be fine on left wingers. It would be nice to have Tanner Pearson though. We could grab... We could grab Kyle Clifford. He's still young. He's a bottom six defenseman. That should free up some cap. No, it still would not go through. We'll take Kyle Clifford off. We have to we have to grab somebody that eats cap here. Unless somehow we can make a deal to get a defenseman. Maybe Andre Maybe we can get Andre Shakira. I think that I believe that's how you say his name. Maybe if we throw Jeff Petrie in, which his trade value is really high. We could grab Jake Mudgeon. Alex Martinez, goalies, I know they have Jonathan Quick, which that's out of, we could use a better backup. How much is, they're not really paying him much. We don't really need any centers. Um, we're gonna have to grab somebody. We could grab, uh, King. All right, this trade's not gonna go through. It's not gonna work with us here. Cause then, even if we retain salary, 
it would not go through so that's obviously not gonna happen take that off um uh, let's check montreal see if we can find a good right winger brendan gallagher he's still young but we want someone who can produce more so we can get some good scoring though Max Camilleri, but he is old. We want someone who's decent age for producing. Flip Forsberg, but I doubt we could land a deal to grab Flip Forsberg, even though that would be a great pickup. Yeah, they have more than 50 players, so we have to take two, and his trade value alone is pretty high. Unless somehow we can take someone who's of low trade value and then swing and then we'll be we'll take someone who plays in AHL like we'll take Peninzo put him in the AHL then they'd be over the salary cap of course they would we can take someone who gets paid a little bit more than him we'll take a left winger Um, actually, I could throw Jeff Petrie in and we'll take a lower defenseman. I'm not seeing anybody there we can land a deal with. Let's, tr we can try Philadelphia. I don't think they'd have any good right wingers. I know they have Voracek, but we're not going to land a deal. Jesus, 90 overall. He jumped up pretty high, Wayne Simmons. Yeah, no one we can really land a solid deal with without giving up an arm and a leg Pittsburgh probably not Joe Thornton they do have Joe Thornton on the block but he is a center mm, I'm not seeing anyone solid there be willing to give up yeah there's nobody we need offense here TJ Oshie would be a nice pickup so would Vladimir Tarasenko Vladimir Tarasenko could be a little nicer Due to he's a higher, he's lower, but that's a big contract to take on. Let's try to get TJ Oshi. They'd be over the maximum salary cap. Jeez. Hmm. I'm thinking to see how we could do this trade. We could try to get Vladdy Tarasenko. But that won't go through either because of the trade. Alright, we're going to have to find a way, something to do with the, uh, the salary cap here. Ryan Callahan, we could bring him back to the Big Apple. Dan Girardi's contract is just might just be two maps of the trade away that's what I was afraid of we'd have to we have to look for a team that has a ridiculous amount of salary cap Winnipeg there's Blake Wheeler but again we have to give up an arm and a leg Anaheim I don't think they have any right wingers besides Corey Perry would be interested interested in and Koi Perry would be almost impossible for us to get using these two Arizona mm, we I do not want to get Shane Doan because he's older Boston salary caps bad Buffalo does have Tyler Ennis we could try to pick up Tyler Ennis let's tr yeah let's pick up Tyler Ennis they have more than 45, so we have to take someone of low value. So we're see, we'll look for, we'll just look for a center of low value. Probably someone in the AHO. We take, we we'll take the lowest one they have, and that should, that trade looks like it should go through, and it does. So Dan Girardi. And Dominic Moore are now on the Buffalo Sabres.
Tyler Ennis will be joining us. Now the question is, should we move someone else as well? Should we try to move Jeff Petrie and bring up both our young? We're going to keep him for now because he is young. We'll see how he does. If worse comes to worse, we will move him probably towards the end of the season, most likely, because now that I think about it, the big contract we offered him really is not worth what I believe we can get out of him. Tyler Ennis will be playing right there. He will be playing his natural born position as a right wing. I know it would be smart to put him up there with Rick Nash to produce some scoring, but I want Carl Haglin to stay our first liner. JT Miller is getting second line minutes, which is great. James Shepard is another center. We have too many centers. We're going to have to eventually trade away some centers. Right now, I'm going to leave it how it is. Probably should save James Shepard, see how he does. Jesper Fast is on the fourth line, along with Ryan Hagerly. We're giving him some NHL minutes now. We believe he's ready for the NHL. And Oscar Lindbergh is definitely ready for the NHL. That's why he's playing on the fourth line. He's getting minutes. Carl Klingberg. We have not decided what we're going to do with him yet. If you have any ideas, you can leave them in the comments. If you want me to trade him away or just keep him in the AHL. He does have low potential, but he could possibly be something that's worth keeping. Now, if I, if you guys want me to, I would, I could trade him away and get Jimmy Hayes and put Jimmy Hayes and Kevin Hayes right beside each other, which I believe eventually Kevin Hayes will improve into a second liner. Tyler Ennis seems to be fine right there. Now, defense... We're going to have to call up. Yeah, we're going to have to call up. We'll move, move somebody down and call somebody up. Go to D-Man. Defense. We're move. Yeah, we're... No, we're going to keep him in. We're moved down Summers. And then we're going to call up... Where's he at? Clef Bob. Which I believe we got from the Edmonton Oilers during the draft. And he's ready to play in the NHL, I believe. 83 overall, I think he's ready to play at least third line minutes here for us. Substitute. Where is he at? Let's go to defense. Cliff Bomb. We're going to address him. Where do you go? There he is. Changing all lines. Now we will have to probably scratch. We will have to scratch him. We do have too many players. McRoth. Which he could be another. I think he could be a possible. He could be another future D man for us. Yeah, 23 years old, 78 overall. Quite possibly, I might give him some playing time towards the end of the season when we move Jeff Petrie. Which right now, I believe it should be fine. Jeff Petrie and Oscar Clefbaum will be playing side by side. Mark Stahl, I did swap him out with Keith Yandel. Mark, They had Mark Stahl on the first line. I put Keith Yandel because it seems they did better like that last season. We did keep Dan Boyle due to he did start putting up numbers towards the end of the season. No lines. Who is in no lines? Uh, we're going to go ahead and give Oscar Lindbergh. Not Oscar Lindbergh. Carl Clefbaum more time on the ice. So we're look for... We're sub Petrie out and put Clefbaum in. Alright, there he is. Oscar Clefbaum. Alright, let's see if it's still like that. Keep saying no lines. No, okay, we're good. Yeah, but this is going to be our start and for the beginning of the season. Carl Hagelin, Derek Stepan, Rick Nash, Derek Broussard, Tyler Ennis, JT Miller. There's our first two lines. Which, Derek Stepan, I believe I gave him the A when it came to captains and jerseys. It did not stick. We're going to go ahead and give it give him back the A. I don't know who it gave it to. It looks like it gave, I know Rick Nash had one. Gave it to Keith Yandel. We're going to unassign Keith Yandel. 
and give it back to Derek Stepan. I believe that happened because in the playoffs, Derek Stepan did go out with an uh, injury early in the playoffs, which we had a disappointing playoff. Let's get this season on the way. Enough of trades. Let's go ahead and get the season underway. All right. Uh, we had first games as a home and home with Columbus Blue Jackets. Our season opener, our home opener won't be till our second game. Hopefully we can go in there with a win streak. All right, Ryan Johansson and the Blue Jackets. A 3-2 loss, but it, that's okay because we did beat them in MSG. As long as we keep our wins up. Last season we did have a horrible start to the season. Hopefully it will be a different story this season. I'm hoping we start on a good note and stay on a good note. Let's go ahead and scout. We don't really have much picks, so we're going to go ahead and scout places for late round picks. Okay, our rival is the Philadelphia Flyers. In their house. We go in there and show them that we can play anywhere. 2-1 win. Very nice. Vancouver Canucks, the Sedin Twins, 4-3 win, this is what I wanted to start, on a 3 win streak, let's see if we can handle it against OV in the Caps, we should be able to push past Nicholas Backstrom and Alexander Ovechkin, we do, 2-1 victory, nice, we're getting goals right when we need them, and Hendrik Lundqvist, Looks like he's going to be solid this season yet again, which he's the king. He's always going to be solid. Now we're going against the Big Bad Bruins. Let's see if we can get revenge for them pushing us out of the playoffs. We do a 4-3 victory. Ooh, Tyler Ennis has been injured. We're going to edit our lines. Who can we fill Tyler Ennis' spot with? Let's go ahead and do best lines see what they have they put Kevin Hayes up there that could work we have to swap these two again yeah that should work we'll go ahead and see too bad Tyler Ennis isn't healthy enough oh he is back best lines Tyler Ennis isn't there to play his former team which he is here now, and we lose 5-2. Ooh, that stings to lose 5-2 to the Buffalo Sabres, losing. They did end our four-game, five-game winning streak. Let's see if we can take that win streak to Minnesota, and we cannot. As we just lost two in a row, that's okay, because I believe we will be able to redeem ourselves against Patrick Kane and the Chicago Blackhawks. All right, hopefully we can push past the Blackhawks. I don't see why we couldn't. We do a 5-4 victory. Now we will go to Dallas Stars. In Dallas. So far, we're already doing better right out the... We lose in overtime. It's okay to lose in overtime this early in the season because we did get a point. But so far, we're not doing too bad out the gate compared to like last season where last season we completely bombed out the gate. We did horrible. Losing, I think it was six games in a row, right off the right out the start, and then only winning two games in the first month. We did win more than half. Ryan McDonald, oh that stings. He'll be back when we play Calgary. We do best lines. I, I have faith in there. We are six three and one. So, so far, we're not doing too bad at, at the start. Going, did we beat Vancouver? We did, 4-1 victory. Okay, since this was the end of a month, let's see what our stats are like. See who's leading and scoring. I believe Derek Stepan probably is. Rick Nash, good. He's living up to that big contract he has. 16 points, 9 goals, 7 assists. That's good. Derek Stepan has yet to score a goal this season, but he is assisting Rick Nash. So, it could be taken okay, as long as he starts improving some. Ryan McDonough, too bad he's injured currently. I don't know how bad his injury is. We'll take a look at that in a second. But, 
He does have 10 points, 5 goals, 5 assists for a D-man. really good. Mark Stahl on the second defensive line. Getting it done with 1 goal, 8 assists. Keith Yandel, 9 points, same as Mark Stahl. Derek Broussard, 6 points. Carl Haglin, 6 points as well. Carl Haglin's on the first line, so right out the gate, he's doing really well. Tyler Ennis, we just picked him up, and look, he fits in perfectly, getting 5 points right out the gate as well. JT Miller, also getting some points on the board early. Now, what I'm noticing, I'm not seeing, we don't have anyone who's a minus. Look at Clefbaum, too. He's a plus two. Oh, there's a penalty minutes. I was looking in the wrong se section. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm kind of... I do notice we do get scored on quite a bit. Then Boyle is a negative six, but he is putting up four points. So we do have some negatives. I was looking at the penalty minute section. I was wondering why Mar Mark Stahl was <laughs> plus 21. When he only has nine points, but that might explain it. <laughs> Yeah, Rick Nash is a plus minus eight, so our first line seems to be fine. Where's Carl Haglin at? Carl Haglin's on our first line. There he is right there. Plus one. Hopefully, our plus minuses will be more solid towards the season, but if we're winning games, it shouldn't be a problem. So far, Rick Nash is producing. Let's check on the goalies. See if Hendrick Lundqvist played all the games. He has not played all the games. Actually... Our young goaltender, Jason Missenden, has played three games and has won two. Nine goals against. Jeez. In three games. He's young, and he's just now coming to the NHL. Uh, 91 shots, shots against. Only let nine by. That's not that bad for someone young. But he is here to play backup goalie for us. Because we did move Cam Talbot in the draft to to get all our draft picks which are currently improving in their divisions and they will be here to play with us next season when they'll be ready most likely they should be ready for the NHL where most, some of our veterans might be moving out depending on how they do this season so not bad Hendrick Lindquist we expect better only a 90 save percentage they both have 90 save percentages not too bad right out the gate not bad at all Let's see where we are in team standards. I know this early in, it doesn't really matter. But it's always good to check. We are number... Number 10. Not bad right out the gate. I'm hoping to have an unreal season this year. So, let's go ahead and get a few more games simmed. Before the end of this video. Alright, we're going to go to Arizona. And then we're going to go to San Jose. Back to back games. Where we should get Ryan McDonough back in Calgary before we play Calgary. There he is right there. Best lines. Which I will stop simulation and make sure it's what we have. A 3-1 victory. I'll go ahead and we'll play San Jose what they have. How they have the lines now. Which San Jose is mm, about even. And we lose 4 nothing to San Jose. Jeez. That is not what we want. We do not want to get shut out. Alright, let's see what they have going for the lines. Manage rosters. Hey, why do you have... Please tell me Hendrick Lundqvist isn't injured. Not what I like to see in net. Is he fatigued? His overall did go down. I'm going to trust what they're doing here. Maybe it's just for this upcoming game to give him a little bit of experience. I'm gonna go ahead and go with it. Let let him get some minutes in to improve. Okay, they did put Tyler Ennis on the first line. Let's put to, we want Tyler Ennis there. JT Miller will be on the second line where Carl Haglin was. Rick Nash, Derek Stefan, do do. Patrick, okay. Someone did come up, I guess. Who did they move down? Carl Lindberg. Right. Okay, he was there. Hmm. Seems like they moved somebody down. JT Miller. Yeah. Jesper Fast. They moved, Did they use move Jesper Fast down? I'm gonna have to check that because we want Jesper Fast in the NHL. Mark Stahl and Keith Yandel. 
Left bomb. Alright, it should be good. Let me, let's let's call up uh, Jesper Fast. We don't want Jesper Fast down in the AHL. We want Jesper Fast up so he can improve with us. They scratch him, I'm guessing. JT Miller. Yes, for fast. There he is. They did scratch him. We do want him to play so he can get better. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to. Pat Patrick Tanla, or whatever, however you say his name, we are going to scratch him. And then we will put Jesper Fast in his spot. Right wings. We do need some left wings. I noticed that. Which we will pick pick up eventually. Towards the middle of the season. Jesper Fast. I'm probably going to keep Jesper Fast on the left side. See how he does there. Normally I'd play him on the right side. Play him in his actual position. But I'm going to go ahead and keep it how it is. See how it plays out. Alright, it does seem like this is the way we want everything to be. So we'll go ahead and we'll get about another week done in this video. Let's go ahead and go to calendar and take out Kagari here. We should we should slide on by Kagari. They're three and nine. They were having a horrible season right out the gate here. Hopefully we can squeeze past them and get a win. Ryan McDonald should be full health by then for our defense, so it could be. And we lose three two. Good year for rookies. We don't have, we really don't have any early draft picks this year. If we have to pick up somebody in the draft, which I don't think we should have to, we should be good for the next few seasons. Which we're gonna pick up probably some prospects just to play in the AHL. We're gonna get some late prospects going. Maybe move some players for some early trades if we have to. Because we do have a lot of right wings and not enough left wings. I would like to balance it more. We do have a lot of D-man as well in the AHL. Six and six to one. That's what I want to see. All right, we'll go ahead and get. We'll go ahead and sim up to where we play Toronto. The second time. We'll go ahead and the second time and. That will do the games for this video. 6-1 win versus Dallas. That's what I want to see from this team. We are 9-5-1. Let's make it 10-5-1, you guys, right here. As we go to the Bell Center to play Montreal. And we do unbelievable. Ryan McDonough is injured again, and he won't be back for about a week. We'll do best lines on that so they can get everything where it has to be. Alright, we did beat Toronto 7-4 the first time. Hopefully we can squeeze past them again. We do 3-2. Nice. 12-5-1 right out the gate. That's what I want to see right out the gate. We're going to take a... We'll go ahead and see if... Because it seems that we did get a lot of scoring. Rick Nash, 27 points. Rick Nash is producing this season. I don't even think we've played 27 games yet, have we? No, eight, 27 points in 18 games. That's what we like to see. Derek Stepan right behind them with 18 points. He is scoring goals now. They are both on the first line. They are going to work very well together this season. Keith Yandel up there as well, 17 points, one goal. That's what I like to see from Keith Yandel. That's why he's on the first line. Carl Hagelin, 14 points on the first line as well. Eight goals, six assists. Ryan McDonough, 14 points. He is injured. Tyler Ennis, 12 points altogether. Derek Broussard, 13. Mark Stahl, 12. Kevin Hayes. Let's see if Oscar Lindbergh has, does have two points on the third line. Let's check. Cliff Baum does have a point assist on the third defensive line. So it seems like most of our players are doing pretty good. Let's check how our rookie goalie is doing. Six games played, only three wins, one overtime loss, it looks like. Hendrik Lindquist, nine wins in 12 games. Hendrik Lindquist is still our two go-to go goalie. 
92 save percentage. He does have an 89 save percentage. Not bad for a young goaltender. And his first ever play time in the NHL. He is not disappointing for us. Anyways, you guys. That's where I'm going to end the video. Any ideas for any trade you guys want me to get? Any ideas what I should do with some of these players? Take. Let's take a look at our lines. Maybe you guys think I should move someone to a different line. Or get rid of somebody altogether. I can do that. Just leave it in the comments below. Like for example, you want me to trade James Shepard to get Jimmy Hayes and then play Jimmy Hayes in the right wing position to play with his brother Kevin Hayes. I will do that if you guys want me to. Go ahead and fix this. Anyways, you guys, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Demonic Ducky, letting you guys know. I'll catch you guys later. Also, expect the next video for GM Connected to be not tomorrow, but maybe the day after tomorrow. Give it a day or two. I'm going to start spacing these videos out more. And I'm not going to be simming as much. I'm going to try to get more out of these videos for the seasons. Because that first season went by in like six episodes. Anyways, you guys, thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you all later.